equity markets today, we have to talk about the Dow, which entered bear market territory. First one of the major indexes to do that, the cash Dow closed at 23,533.22, down 5.86%, about a full percent and change more than the other indices. You're looking at uh, 4.7 down for the NASDAQ, 4.8 down for the S&P, and again, entering bear market territory. Now, bear market territory is a 20% or more decline from the peak. The peak for the Dow was in February. We're now 20% and change below that peak. Now, it doesn't mean that this is going to be a sustained bear market. Things have definitions, and that's what a bear market is. So we've entered a bear market with the Dow. We could pop out of it tomorrow. We could pop out of it the next way, but the next day. But the coronavirus and the economic effect and sort of the slow reaction, according to the WHO, from some of the governments is not really likely to have us do that in any sustained way. Now, the WHO called this a pandemic today, officially naming coronavirus COVID-19 a pandemic. And that second wave of selling came after they announced that. Now, they also said that it was probably a pandemic before, but they made an official declaration to try and prompt governments that were moving slow to move a little bit more quickly on packages and aid to try and contain this thing, uh, quarantine measures, testing kits, et cetera. And they actually said, uh, they were quoted as saying, or, or sources said, they were saying that there might be something within the governments that are demanding a declaration of a pandemic in order to actually affect certain policies. There might be something in some government's constitutions or their regulations that say it has to be officially be a pandemic to do X, Y, and Z. So they decided to declare it, hoping to help some of these governments. They weren't specific, however. And lastly, the Fed is now starting to be priced in at an almost ridiculous rate from a perspective of what they're going to do in rate cuts. You actually saw some of the longer term yields go up today despite the selling. 10 year notes started about 70 basis points, ended up the day a little bit over 81 basis points. But the CME Fed watch tool now has a 53% chance of a 100 basis point rate cut at the meeting next week. So that would be in addition to the 50 they've already done, and that would bring the rate, the Fed funds rate to zero to 25%, that target rate that they aim for, it's zero to 25%. Next move from there would be negative, which we've never had in the US. So it's really getting pushed through. We'll see how that happens. There's some time for markets to recover, but again, the spread of the virus makes that less and less likely.